play Billie Eilish Lovely on YouTube? Sure, playing Billie Eilish Lovely on YouTube. Close Google Chrome. Alright, closing Google Chrome. Open Notepad. Sure, opening Notepad. Close Notepad. Hey there, what's up? Welcome back to our channel, and this is the 11th video of our exciting series Build Your Own Virtual Assistant. And today, in this video, we're going to make our virtual assistant to open or close any applications and we're going we're also going to make it to play anything in the youtube as you have seen in previous scene so without any delay let us get started okay so now i'm in a working directory so let me tell you the like let me explain you the concept first okay so the concept is let me open this let me explain you the concept first we will have a query query variable which is going to store the user query which will be like open chrome okay suppose the user commanded our virtual assistant to open the chrome then what we're going to do we're going to pass that query to the chat gpt after passing it to chat gpt we're going to tell write a python code to open chrome after seeing that prompt our chat gpt will uh, write a code and give us a response it will give us a response where okay? there will be the code after getting the response we're going to filter the response so whenever i say like open chrome using python then it's going to provide me a code but some details also like see oh, here is the code to open the python i don't want it so we're going to filter it in after filtering it we're going to take out the code only so we need to execute that code also right to open the chrome so we need to execute that code also so we're going to filter filter the data over here okay so then what we will get we will uh, after filtering the data we're going to execute it which is also inside this filter function so it is going to open that application so let me tell you again so we will say open chrome then it's going to be stored inside query variable it's going towards the chat gpt and chat gpt is going to write a code to open chrome then it is going to be stored inside the response we have code inside the response okay so we're going to filter that out and we're going to filter that out and we're going to take the codes from that and we're going to run it so as a result the chrome is going to be opened I hope you got it but if you don't then don't worry uh, let me tell you by writing the code okay so first of all I have shown you how to give prompt okay so I have used Bing so I don't want Bing to be used I want to use chat GPT so uh, there are lots of model you can pick a one so to do that we need to give a prompt to the chat GPT like whenever the user say open chrome then we're going to pass a prompt like whenever user say open chrome then give him the python code in this prompt as i have shown you in the earlier video how to create prompt okay like how to give prompt to the chat gpt so i have already created a set of prompt that we're going to use so let me paste it over here and remember this code is not for the being so you have to create a new prompt for bing but if you are using gp talk or chat gpt then uh, you can use this prompt okay the main lines are this okay so whenever the user say open chrome then our assistant is going to reply sure opening google chrome and it's going to write triple backslash and inside that will be the python code to open google and then whenever the user say close google chrome then our assistant is going to say all right closing google chrome and it will execute the code to close the google chrome okay so now let me first show you if it is actually working or not while one query equals uh, input query equals input and then we're going to set a response variable 
where we're going to pass it to GPT. We'll pass the query and then and we have already used the print function to print the message over here, so we don't have to write it over here. So now let me run it and tell it to open the Google Chrome. And whenever I hit the enter, then it's writing sure opening Google Chrome and it's going to provide us the Python code to open the Google Chrome. Okay, so let me copy this Python code from here, import a web browser up to this Google and let me go inside the Python IDE and test this thing. And whenever I hit the enter, then it's going to open a Google Chrome. Likewise, our AI is going to do that. Okay, so let me write exit. So now that we have this query and we have passed it towards the chat GPT and it's going to generate the code. Now what we're going to do is we're going to remove this your opening Google Chrome so that we will get this Python code only and we're going to execute it. So it's going to open the Google Chrome automatically itself. I have got it. So we're going to make it to uh, extract the text that is inside this three backslash and which will be our python code generated by the ai so we're going to run it and our google chrome is going to be opened so let me close this thing and here let me create a function def find code it's going to take text as an argument in here okay so let me delete this first first we're going to define a pattern using regular expression so let me write pattern and let us use regular expression and inside that let me pass the triple back tick and write python and bracket dot star and equation mark and triple back tick so let me tell you what it is doing we have defined a pattern using regular expressions this pattern looks for anything between the triple back ticks and okay <clears throat> so i have got it after that so now uh, we're going to find a match okay so we're going to match it with the text if it found the python code or not so we'll write match matches equals then we're going to use re module so let me import it and so here re dot there is a function called find all and inside here we will pass the pattern and we're going to pass the text from where we want to extract that pa uh, pattern and then we will write re dot dot all now we have used re dot find all method to find all occurrences of this pattern in the input text call like we have asked it in the parameter the re dot dot all flag help us match across multiple lines <clears throat> okay so now let us set up if else statement if we got the code then we're going to execute it if not we're going to pass it if matches if it matches if there is a code if it matches then there is the code inside the text so if it matches then what we're going to do is we're going to create a variable called code there will be the code matches zero dot strip okay so now we have code inside the code variable so we'll return it return code and if it is not then we will write else and print no code font okay so I think we are good to go let me use it so here we have this response so let me print find code and here we will provide the code 
that our AI is going to generate. So let me go over here and let me provide this as a whole. So that it's going to remove that sure opening Google Chrome and it's going to provide us the code only. Okay. Let me run and here let me pass open Chrome. And you can see we got this import web browser and this thing from this code. Now, after that, after we have the code, let us execute it. So we will write, uh, let me remove this and we will store it inside a variable Python code equals instead of passing other thing, let me pass the response by from where it's going to take out the code and now that we have python code which is going to store the python code so let us execute it by writing exec which is used to execute the code let python code and let me run and write open okay uh, the spelling is wrong then it's going to understand and open the google chrome okay so now that it's being able to open the chrome so let me show you by opening other application open notepad okay you can see it's going to open everything okay after that we're going to make it speak so uh, instead of this main let me create a folder over here called head which is going to store a file called speak.py and a file called listen.py so in the speak.py let me add this bunch of code control x import os import pygame paste this code and let me take this take command code also import speech recognition as sr and then let me set it to, okay so the pause threshold is 0 0.5 after that let me do like Hey dot listen import take command from here dot speak import speak after that let me go towards this uh, gpt4 and import all the modules that i have created this speak and listen in, uh, in this query we are going to make it to take command and after that uh, what we are going to do is we are going to make it to speak the response speak response response so let me run and we are going to see a error okay so I want you all to comment what is the thing we're going to face. Let me put it down. Alt down down. So I know that we're going to get some errors. So I'm putting down so that the application is going to open it first. Let me run it. Open Google Chrome. Okay, so now it has opened Google Chrome. Okay, so opening think, okay, bro. Now I need to create a video this thing. Okay, so there's the error with this thing because it can't uh, like it is unable to process that back tick other thing, so it's not going to speak. So we will use 
पाई टी टी एस एक्स थ्री ओके सो लेट मी रन ओपन गूगल क्रोम Sure. Opening Google Chrome Python. Import web browser. Okay. Web browser so dot open. HTTPS slash slash www dot google dot com. So see, it's going to talk this thing and going to talk this thing which is stored inside the code, which we don't want it to be stick out. Okay. So there's a simple thing that we can do. So what we can do is let us do like response dot replace response dot replace Python code with a empty string. Google dot com. Open Google Chrome. Sure. Opening Google Chrome Python. Okay, so now you can see it's not speaking the code because we have replaced the Python code with the empty string, so it will be empty, and it's not going to talk that code. Okay, after that, it's going to speak that Python also. So we want it to be removed. So what we can do is after executing the code. Mm, uh, let me do like called op arrow and after executing the code what i can do is rest equals rest dot replace replace python python with empty string so it's not going to speak that python too okay so let me run open google chrome Sure. Opening Google Chrome. Can you please close Google Chrome? Sure. Closing Google Chrome. Okay. So like that, it's going to work. And yeah, that was for this today's video. I hope you found this helpful. And in the next video, we're going to make it more powerful. So don't forget to connect with us by clicking that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye bye.